Good morning, this is Cook Brothers Garage, and I'm the brain. And here's Pinky. Well, today was going to be my day off, but it looks like I don't get a day off. Well, we bought some security camera systems, and I put them up and about a month or so ago. And guess what? One of the cameras died on one system. A few days later, camera on the other system died. A few days later, the hard drive died. So... We had to order a whole nother system so we could have spare parts because guess what? Oh, the company doesn't replace it because we bought it from a third party instead of buying it directly from them. If we bought it directly from them, they had a 90 day warranty. But we bought it from Finger Hut. So there you go with that. Finger Hut said that they'll replace it, but you got to take everything down and send it in. So I'm like, that's a hell of a lot of damn work, especially if you're climbing 25, 30 foot up in a ladder. So, we decided I should do the easy thing and buy a whole nother one and that parts would match. And the company wouldn't send us the parts neither. So, we couldn't just buy individual parts or send the bad parts in and get them fixed. So, if you have anything to do with this company, Revo, either don't or make sure you buy more than one camera system so you have a bunch of extra parts. And I bought two camera systems and now this is the third camera system. So, let me show you what the box looks like on the eight camera system. Turn the camera around there, and you see what the cat, garage cat, see it's the Revo wireless HD security system. And it's pretty good, except for the cameras died within a month and the hard drive died, so I replaced a hard drive in it. And then this here's the two bad cameras, then took them out and replaced it. And there's the six good, and then there's the extra wireless system that records which I have it up there and now you see all, all eight cameras isn't that amazing that's how it's supposed to be all the time but as you see the ladder's still in that frame cause the ladder's still up as you see and I had to format the hard drive I put a new hard drive in it so I'll get that done so it can record but I gotta do that one, then I gotta do the one up there at my mama's house. I gotta replace her cameras because one of hers died. And uh, that's what the cameras look like. And got a little fitting back for the antenna and it goes through the wall with the cord for the power. So here's the antenna, so the wireless. If I would've known that, I'd been that much damn trouble, I would've just got the damn wired ones. You now you plug it all the way straight into the box, but high size 2020 as they say but i'll make another video once i get at mama's house and show you what it screens just black and just says revo on that one and then i'll show you me getting it set up where it hopefully connect in one try if not i will have to make a shorter video or a longer one we just never know but i'm the brain and here's pinky we'll talk to you later Hey, this is the brain at Cook Brothers Garage again. And I got the other camera system, camera replaced and updated the system and everything. Let me turn this camera around here. And as you can see, that right there was the camera that was out and I replaced it. And you see all the other ones working fine. And the hard drive on this one's still good, but the other one didn't. And then there is the camera. And it's got the 3R light, the Wi-Fi antenna. And right there is T-Rex, my brother of Cook Brothers Garage. <laughs> and then Pinky's in there with the cat lady, and that's my mama. Cat lady is, and Pinky's my wife. But we got her going, so I'm going to go ahead and put that camera up. And uh, keep an eye on it throughout the day. Hopefully I don't have no more dead cameras, but I got six more replacement cameras. I tell you what, syncing those things up and all that's a pain in the butt. I tell you, you got to sit here and get this in, then you got to get the camera, hold it, and you got to be within three foot of the base. So every time you got to repair it, you got to sit there and take it down if you got it up and get it close enough to the box so it repairs itself. Or reconnects, I guess. They, they call it repair, but I call it reconnect. But anyways, to reconnect the darn thing, but it's a pain in the butt because every time you do it, you got to go up a ladder, take it down, bring it in here, Undo the plug, take the plug with you, power cord and all that. I mean, it's just a pain in the butt. And the best thing to do 
is buy an extra set of them cameras. Then you can, one goes out, you just do it this way, then go up the ladder one time and replace it and be done with it. But this is the brain from Cook Brothers' Garage. I'll talk to you later. Hey, it's the brain again from Cook Brothers' Garage. I got the camera up. I'm going to sit there just to... I got it screwed in, but I just got temporarily uh, tape around it to keep the water out just to make sure that I'm not wasting any of that sealant or nothing. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. As you can see, I got the duct tape around it. I'll take that off once I make sure it lasts longer than a dang month. And then I can seal it because I hate wasting sealant and it's hard to pull them damn cameras down after you seal around them and seal all the water out. So this is just temporary for now. But I got her working. But if you ever buy any of those Revo cameras, Revo America, make sure that you buy more than you need. If you buy one system, buy two systems. You buy two systems, buy four. Just buy double whatever you need. Because in the end, it'd be better for you because you don't have to sit there and wait and try to mess with sending stuff back and get another one because they ain't going to do it. And if they do, it'll take forever. Then you have to go up and down, take every one of the cameras down, put every one of the cameras back up. Just save you a lot of time and hassle. Or if you got the extra dough, buy a professional system and have it put up by professionals. It's got like a warranty, like a five-year warranty or something. But that's if you got dough. If you don't got dough, then you have to do like me. If you got to do like me, buy more than what you need. That way you'll have extra when it goes out so you don't have to send it all back. Or email the makers or the manufacturers because I emailed them. And they just gave me a damn runaround, basically. They told me, oh, you got to repair it. You got to sit there and reconnect it and it work. And I done that. And I told them I done it. Showed them a video of me doing it not working. Guess what? No reply or nothing from the email. So I sent them another email about my other system when it went out. Guess what? They said the same shit. And then they said, if you're not happy, you got a 9 warranty. But only if you bought it from us. And then after all that, they said, stop communicating with us or we'll get you for harassment. I'm like, how am I harassing you? when your product doesn't work and I'm trying to figure out how to get it to work or get a replacement. So, short of taking them to court, there ain't too much I can do, but it's the Revo of America, Revo Camera Systems. Hey, if I was you, I wouldn't get it unless you get more than one and that's how that's how they want you to do. Their warranty's crap, their stuff's cheap, but I mean, it works for a little while, but I do not recommend it. And I'd ask everybody to avoid it. But this is The Brain. Over and out for Cook Brothers Garage today. I'm over and out. See y'all later.